Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a makeup look today. It is my everyday mommy makeup look. Super fast, super simple. Um, just something that can make you feel a little better every day. Like, feel more put together, but nothing fancy. Nothing like full beat or anything like that. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Um... Thank you very much for watching. Okay, well, the first thing I do right before I put on my makeup is put up my hair. I have already done that. Um, you don't have to do that. That's just what I do. Um, and then I start off with some concealer. I just use the Tarte Shape Tape. And mine is in Fair Neutral. And because I'm a new mom, I want to make my makeup fast. And... Ooh, I need to use... I want to make my makeup fast. And so... I just, I don't do, I don't always do like a whole bunch of like foundation, concealer, you know, all of that because I don't have the time for that. Um, so I did use concealer because coverage on this is insane. I just use concealer because it is faster than using foundation and it gets the job done, especially with Tarte Shape Tape because this stuff is full coverage. Um, sometimes I use a Morphe, the Morphe um, sponge, the highlight, I think it's like the highlight and contour sponge um, I think I put a little too much concealer under my eyes today but I am very tired so sorry if I keep putting the mirror in front of my face my first time doing this and um, I'm not a professional makeup artist just a mom <laughs> so you do not have to follow anything I'm doing it is in no by no means like the right way. You do whatever you want to do with your makeup. This is just what I do. Um, if I'm like, if I have like a lot of time to do my makeup, or I'm getting ready for like a nice event, which I don't even go to nice events, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but like, I don't know if I'm going out or I need to look nicer for some reason. I will actually do like the the whole process of like um, foundation, concealer, you know, all that, all that jazz. Um, but every day, no. I do not have time for that. Um, in my first video, if you haven't seen it, I mentioned that I'm a young mom. I'm not a stay-at-home mom. I'm a young, I'm a young working mom who's also in college. And my daughter is about to be three months old so I think that's still newborn right um and then don't forget to blend down your neck I'm not too crazy about this like if I'm just doing concealer I don't go I don't worry about it that much all right so yeah just make sure it's all blended out as you can see I just have like a lot of redness I don't really have any breakouts um I do have scarring, so I have scarring and yeah, pretty much just scarring at this point, scarring and redness and dark circles because I'm a, I'm a mom, so I don't get that much sleep. Oh, by the way, I blended this out with the Morphe E8. If I'm doing foundation, I will either, I will all use the Morphe M439 brush um, or a beauty sponge. My favorites are the Real Technique sponge and the Morphe one, the like highlight and contour one. I don't have it with me right now. So after I do concealer, I will just set it a little bit. Um, this concealer on me, it's not like too drying, but I don't like I don't like bake or anything because I feel like that's just like too much. So I just like lightly set with powder just so that it doesn't like move around 
and um, go all crazy throughout the day. Um, and if you're wondering, my skin type is, like right now, it's just normal. Normal to, I would say normal to dry right now. Um, when I was like in high school, which that was a long time ago, when I was in high school, I was, I had more like combination oily skin, but um, definitely not anymore. It changed. I don't know why, but it did. Um, so after I do my concealer, my base, I will do my eyebrows. I don't know about you, but my eyebrows are not my most favorite part. So I don't know if I'll be able to get this that well in shot, but I just fill them in. I have dark eyebrow hair, but it's they're kind of wild, and it's like there's sparse areas, so it's hard. Like they don't look, they don't look defined if I don't film in. Like as you can see, oh, dropping stuff over here. Sorry. Um. So if I'm doing my makeup, I definitely fill in my eyebrows. I used to go really like heavy handed with like um with see there that's like the out the shape and then I'll lightly fill it in and brush it out. Um I used to go pretty heavy handed with like um what's it called? The like pomades, the brow pomades, the like Anastasia yeah, the brow pomades. Which they're like gel. I really like using those because I think honestly it's really easy. But, but I just like go heavy handed and my problem is I have really dark, dark eyebrow hair so I try to match it but then like, I don't know, it ends up looking just like really crazy. But I don't, I try not to spend too much time on my eyebrows because then I feel like they get a little out of hand but at the same time I have to do my eyebrows because you know, eyebrows like frame your face and I feel like it's just if, unless you have like perfect natural brows, which I am so jealous of you if you do, um, then I think filling in your eyebrows, giving them, like, giving them a shape is like so important. What did I just do? I messed up. Alright. Trying to get this in shot, sorry. Um, but honestly, my eyebrows and my mascara take me the longest. It's really weird, but I used to, like, be able to do my mascara so fast because, like, I was like, oh, I'm pretty lucky. I have really nice eyelashes, which I still do. Like, they're not that bad, but for some reason, they're just, like, funky. Like, ever since I, like, got pregnant and then having, like, postpartum, like, having my baby, like... They just don't want to do anything. Well, they want to do their own thing. They don't want to cooperate. It's so hard to explain. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, do you guys like more like talking, get ready with me, fast ones, both? Like what, what style? do people like watching? I kinda like watching the the ones where they talk so yeah the chatty either the chatty get ready with me's or just when they talk you through everything because I am not a makeup artist so not that good I didn't even tell you anything I've been using so I set my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. See, as you can tell, I'm definitely not a makeup artist or a beauty guru. Um, and then I just filled in my eyebrows with the CoverGirl Soft Brown Eye Pencil. Uh, or Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. I like brow pencils. I think they're the... I think they're really easy to use. They're really fast. And I can tend to get a softer look with pencils rather than gel, but I feel like I get my brows looking more defined with gel. 
So honestly, it really depends on like what look I'm going for. So, oh my gosh, okay. So then once I finish my brow, I always set them because I have crazy brow hairs that like to do whatever they want and go in all directions. And I'm just using the Pixie, actually it doesn't have a name, but I know it's the Pixie one, it's the Pixie Brow Gel. I'm guessing if that's just what it's called. It's just a clear one. Um, I do like using colored ones as well, but I'm out right now. Alrighty, and then after I do that, I like to put on some bronzer. A, a tip for um, any moms out there trying to do their makeup basket, like a like a palette that has like bronzer, blush, and highlight all in one. That's what this is. It's an old one. It's Tarte Park Park Ave Princess, and it has bronzer, blush, and highlight all together. Like if you're on the go or you know whatever, it's honestly just easier to use a like bronzer palette or like a bronzer, blusher, and highlighter palette because then it's quick. Ooh, static. Because then it is a lot quicker. And to bronze, I'm using the Morphe R2 brush. And I always bring it down my neck because, I don't know, I'm very, I'm very pale. And I like to bring color wherever I can. And my neck is honestly like really like white compared to the rest of me so and I honestly just do like a light dusting of it I don't like to do too much because I am fair I feel like on um, a lot of bronzers can look dirty on me and then I like to use the blush in this palette on a Morphe M530 and just lightly go over the cheeks Rosie them up. I like to have some color in my face. I know my lighting is not that good, guys. I am so sorry. Um, but I think blush is really important. I like to have, like, a little bit of color back into my face. Not just the bronzer, but, like, I like the way, like, blush to cheeks look. But sometimes I can go a little crazy. Um, and then I will take the highlight in this palette, which is just right here on a Morphe 510 and just hit the tops of my cheeks and I kind of go around and then something I saw on I think it was Nikki Tutorials channel with Re Rihanna's makeup artist I'm so sorry I can't remember her name but she said their trick is they bring the highlight like under the brow bone and they swoop it out and then like come down so I mean I love highlights so I'm not going to say that that is wrong and who am I to say that is wrong you know you do you do you when it comes to your makeup whatever you want to do is the right thing that's the good thing about makeup like you can you have like so much like creative freedom like do whatever you want I mean I'm putting some on my cupid's bow some on the tip of the chin um, I know a lot of people say, you know, like, you should put these things in certain places, but, like, wherever you want to put them. So that's a nice highlight. Wherever you want to put your makeup or however you want to do your makeup is the way you should do your makeup. Um, let's see here. What else? Oh, yeah. And then all I have left to do is my mascara. And then chapstick. I'm not really like a lipstick or like, yeah, like a lipstick person. Um, I will do like lip gloss. I'm so sorry. I have such a hard time talking while doing mascara. Does anyone else? Because... I definitely do. And my lashes suck right now, so it's even harder. One eye is always better than the other. My eyelashes are like my eyebrows. They're sisters, they're not twins. <laughs> you know that saying. 
Oh gosh. Do I sound like a beauty guru? Um. Yeah, so I just, honestly, I will curl my eyelashes if I have the time, but if I'm just trying to, like, get ready, I'm not going to curl my eyelashes. I just need something on my eyelashes so that you can, like, see them. Um, I just use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I never, I don't use the waterproof unless, like, for some reason I know I'm going to need waterproof mascara. Because my waterproof mascara is so hard to get off and I do not have the time to get that off. And then for my lower lashes, I use the Pixie Lower Lash Mascara. It's really nice because it's super tiny. And I have super tiny lashes, so. Match made in heaven. I don't go crazy or anything. Again, I just like a light coat. So that you can be like, oh, hey, you have eyelashes. That's so weird. Why am I so weird? That's what you guys are going to realize. I'm pretty weird. I would just use the Lash Paradise on my lower lash mesh, lower lash mat, lower lashes. Oh my God. But I'm extra and need, you know, another mascara. It's mainly because my eyelashes are so small that if I try to put like a big size wand under my eyes, it just clumps all of them into one and it does not look cute. All right, this is as good as those are gonna get. And then I just put some lip balm on, like a tinted lip balm. I like using the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. This is the tubed version. I actually prefer the one in the little like pot, the can. It's like a, or tin. It's like a little circular tin. I actually like, even though it's the same one, I like that one better. I don't know why, I just do. But this one's nicer to travel with because you don't get your fingers all disgusting and whatnot. Again, I don't do anything crazy, just enough to like, kind of like look like I'm put together. Okay, and then last but not least, I just, if I am doing like a full face of makeup, like, I mean this was like kind of a full face of makeup, but like beat my face, then I'll use Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, but like when I'm just daily, I like to use the Mario Badesco, Badescu, um, Facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. So refreshing. <sighs> and I go crazy. Um. And then someone said that fanning yourself and letting it dry this way was also better. Again, not a makeup artist, but I like to think I am sometimes. All right, and... That is all I do. I'm just gonna go do my hair and then I'll be right back to show you the finish. Perfect. All right, so I'm back. Honestly, I just curl some of the pieces of my hair. Um, it's so hard to tell in this lighting, but I just curl some of the pieces of my hair and then that is it. I put some dry shampoo in it, curl some pieces, and that's honestly what I'll do if I keep my hair down. Um, I do not like to do too much with my hair. I mean, I'm a mom, so half the time I'm putting my hair up anyways, but if it's down, this is something I will do to just make it look a little better than just like plain. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I will see you next time on my channel. Bye.